Okay, in this video we're going to cover cloud computing basics. This is a presentation by nittygrittycloud.com. If you search cloud computing basics, you will find technical terms and business uses such as IASS, PASS, the hybrid, elasticity, sustainability. Basically, that's for business use and people who are looking to work in that field or provide a service in that field. A business can benefit from utilizing cloud computing services. However, it's my personal opinion and the opinion of many that the cloud is underutilized for personal use. A survey last year by Citrix.com revealed that people were very hazy and didn't understand the cloud or didn't really realize what the cloud was. And uh, some of the statistics are, are displayed here. These are some of the highlights of the statistics. If you want to see a full review, I'll include a link below. Or you can navigate to citrix.com and uh, check it out. So <laughs> some of the humorous things that they found are uh, ninety five percent of those who think they are not using the cloud actually are you got services such as iCloud Hotmail Facebook these are all cloud based services uh, so if you're logging on to any type of email it's a cloud most people don't believe that but it is uh, actually I think uh, there's a newer survey I'll show you in a few minutes that reveals uh, more about what people think and it's uh, from similar Th this survey they interviewed a thousand Americans the the more recent survey they review they interviewed 1,000 uh, people from the UK which came in with very similar resu results uh, three and five people believe the workplace of the future will exist entirely in the cloud that's kind of silly because no one even knows what what it is According to the survey, 40% believe accessing work information at their home in their birthday suit would be an advantage. So uh, the cloud would give people accessibility to do that. More than one third agree that the cloud allows them to share information with people they'd rather not be interacting with in person. After being provided with the definition of cloud, 68% recognize its economic benefits. Another little funny one here, 14% uh, have pretended to know what the cloud is during a job interview, even though they do not know what it is. I'm just going to skip out of this for a second and show you the, uh, there is uh, WebFusion, one of the largest UK, uh, UK's biggest hosting groups, polled more than a thousand of people from the general public to see, to gauge their understanding of the cloud. Uh, the research found that almost two in five, 30 percent, said they had little or no understanding of the term. And they found out some of the uh, same, they came to some of the same conclusions as Citrix. And this is a major company in the UK, it's called WebFusion. As a result of the survey, uh, Forbes wrote an article about the Citrix survey. I mean it was a general article about cloud computing and they included some information about the Citrix survey. Uh, many respondents in fact uh, are aware of the changes about to sweep through their organizations. Three and five, 59 percent, believe the workplace of the future will exist entirely in the cloud. This finding alone indicates people feel it is time to figure out is what the Forbes has to say, the cloud or risk being left behind in their professional lives. The most recognizing benefits are that the cloud helps consumers by lowering costs, spurs small business growth, and boosts customer engagement for business, and are most likely to believe that the cloud generates jobs. 
basically Forbes had uh, nothing but positive things to say about the cloud. So I just wanted to go over, I mean there's, there's a lot about the definition of what is cloud computing and there's a lot of search buzz around cloud computing. So I, I just wanted to offer my cloud computing basics knowledge and uh, display it to a more common person rather than getting caught up with the, the technical terms of cloud computing and what uh, the business use and how to use it for business or how to get into that field if you're if you're looking to uh, go into that type of job market where people are going away from networking and, and going towards the cloud. But cloud computing basics in its simple form provides access to data that an individual can store, edit, access, create, or share. It is simple to learn and fun to use. It's similar to like a Facebook, but it's uh, something you have more control over. Uh, it lets you share files with who you want, when you want, uh, with face uh, social media, media outlets like Twitter, Facebook, and some other major ones that if you have a friend group and you go to share a photo, it shares across your whole friend group depending on your, your settings, but there's not it's not as controlled as cloud computing. If you get involved with cloud computing and you set up groups within the service provider of cloud computing, you can share one photo, an album of photos, a whole folder with one person, five people, as many people as you want. And uh, it's basically accessible from any device anywhere. It access online file storage, but it also syncs and updates automatically. It's normally free to join with an abundant amount of storage space. If you fill it up, you can purchase additional space at a small fee. It's also peace of mind that you won't lose data to your hard drive to a hard drive failure or other catastrophic event. Uh, here in New York, we had many, many homes destroyed from the recent Hurricane, uh, Hurricane Sandy. And uh, some touching things I've, I've heard that during the cleanup, some people had some uh, pictures of their children that were ruined. And uh, if you if you end up saving that stuff to the cloud, then it, it will be at least capsulized in some way, and you can uh, get it back. But you have to start using the cloud uh, for what it's used for, uh, and use it to your advantage and benefit. Uh, you won't have to buy and copy to another hard drive over and over again. Uh, you won't have to copy to DVDs, CDs, all your files and folders. You can go out and buy one terabyte and back up your whole drive, but in three, four years, that drive may either get corrupted, you may drop it, you may lose it. If you upload your files to the cloud, there's no need to keep switching, updating, making sure the files are on there, syncing it. Yeah, they sell softwares that will sync it if you just keep it connected. It's just the cloud is always going to be up to date because the service provider is always going to give you up to date software. Uh, another benefit is it uh, lets you upload and share large files. Uh, some services you can share up to a 10 gigabyte file. Uh, Google Drive just came out with that. And they also, uh, and they've always had that, but they just interfaced their uh, Gmail with being able to send the 10 gigabyte file size. Uh, it's a little bit of a big files, considering they only give you five gigabytes for free. But uh, if you're one of these paid consumers, then you and you have a 10 gigabyte file in there, you can send it. Another tip I like to use is uh, with my smartphone. My my family, my kids, I like to take videos with my smartphone and, and photos. But the, the videos, anytime I try to text it or email it to anywhere else. If it's over like a minute, minute and a half, two minutes, you can't send it anywhere because it's too big. So I have an Android phone, I, I sync it right up to the cloud, and it's always saved and always available. Or I can move it around, I can edit it, I can view it, it's more uh, feasible. Uh, just a little tip I like to throw in at the end here. So this has been Cloud Computing Basics with NittyGrittyCloud.com. I'm Kevin Murtha. Thank you very much.